Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Swami Haladi. I work as a global program uh, manager for the mycotoxin risk management program within our uh, feed safety uh, program. Today I would like to share with you a few things, uh, uh, common questions we get uh, in the field when I travel uh, across the globe related to the mycotoxin analysis. So I meet a lot of uh, customers, whether they're integrators or feed millers or farmers, having challenges with mycotoxins. The first question they ask me is that, how do I really know whether the challenge is related to mycotoxins? The question of mycotoxin challenges comes when the farmer is observing, let's say there is a poor FCR in the chicken or some reproductive issues in the pigs, or if there is increased somatic cell counts in the cows. So they start thinking about, okay, there is something wrong and probably because mycotoxins may be playing a role in this. But at the same time, what we are observing is that the issues they are facing, just take an example of uh, increased somatic cell counts in dairy cows. Uh, we see that that same effect can be due to diseases, maybe like virus, maybe bacteria. It may be due to the, the management issues on the farm. So overcrowding of animals or any other managemental challenges. So uh, it is really a challenge, uh, not only for the farmers, but also veterinarians who work in the field to know whether the challenge they're observing on the farm is due to mycotoxins or there is something else. So that's what I call uh, in a veterinary terminology, we call it as a differential diagnosis. So you have a challenge in front of you, but you need to look at what is the role of nutrition? What is the role of uh, management? What is the role of some of the, uh, the diseases? So we need to put all together and I think uh, the mycotoxin analysis is one of the ways we identify these challenges, which I will be sharing a little bit more detail in the next coming few videos uh, about what are the uh, challenges or advantages of mycotoxin analysis and how do we overcome those uh, in order to make it a more effective mycotoxin risk management program.